hello everyone i'm back again and welcome to be Lab. if you have not subscribed yet go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification icon bell so that you can get notified when uh, new videos is uploaded okay so in this tutorial i'm going to teach you one of the very important tasks um, which is called database transaction and this transaction is uh, ignored and neglected by many many developers so i hope you will be uh, enjoying this video and this was really really important uh, video for your uh, application that serves in production level so what is transaction is actually in uh, MySQL or any other uh, database level, okay? So transaction is something, let's say we I have uh, I have one query here and I have another query here and another query here. So I have three queries to be uh, implemented, okay? So let's say one of this query uh, is not executed correctly, okay? Let's say we have uh, this query or uh, this query. Let's say you have this query and what will happen is that this uh, this is corrupted now this code will not work and should not work by the way so if you insert this one this uh, data will be inserted in your database and it will fail here so what will happen is that you will not go get any block categories you will not get any block tags but you will have a block post here which mean the blog post is now completely corrupted okay so your data has been corrupted so what we can do here is that if we can somehow uh, delete the block, uh, if you fail here and if your blog is uh, inserted, then if we can somehow delete the blog as well, then it will be nice. So that means we have a, a complete uh, uncorrupted data. I mean, it's data is not corrupted anymore. So I'm to, I'm going to tell you any any other case scenario which can be useful uh, to think easily. Let's say you have a banking system or any system that uh, deal with balance. So let's say a user. A transfer some money um, transfer some money to uh, user money to user B let's say uh, minus let's say $200 okay and take, uh, the next thing should be uh, user B should get this amount right so you should get plus 200 right now let's say this query has been executed successfully but this failed what that mean will be your 200 will not be received user a's 200 will not be received by user b but user a will uh, lose the money already okay so that means this 200 will be lost in the system and this 200 is corrupted okay so your whole system will then be uh, completely corrupted so you can assume that this scenario will not happen my code is perfect it will work and blah 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 but completely be sure is that on server anything can happen let's say you have a lot of traffic and if any users um, and if your server fails after executing this much then if server fails you will get a corrupted data that's obviously uh, possible to happen so what uh, should be done in cases like this whenever you have multiple data set to be inserted updated or deleted then you have to use this kind of uh, logic okay so let me go ahead and show you exactly what problem I we might face with current code let's say so wait, I have inserted blog but I have a bad query here so this will fail here so what we will have is that I will end up having a blog post but I will not have any category or blog text okay so that's completely perfect it's I can say this blog post is completely corrupted okay so let's go ahead and solve this problem okay so in order to solve this uh, problem we have to write a try catch block um, that's perfect and we have to uh, add this code inside a try and then we can say uh, return here okay and we can say return not done uh, not done here okay perfect right now we have to use something called db bn transaction i hope spelling is correct and here if it fails we have to see we have to call db roll back okay and after this much of code we should commit our transaction so we should call db commit okay perfect so now what will happen is that this query will be uh, executed and if any of this query fails then this code will be executed and the rollback will happen so whatever we have inserted will then be deleted okay so let's say 
uh, in our previous example we saw this data is corrupted so it was insert um, then the previous code was uh, inserting the uh, blog but not inserting any category or blog post but in this case it will be deleted right away using the rollback code so in this case we will have a clean database so if one fail other will not be inserted at all as well okay so let's go ahead and test the code we have 50 app db is not inserted so let's insert import this class we have imported this class now okay i am having another problem call to undefined begin transaction i think transactions laravel db begin transactions Uh, I'm not sure if I have done something rollback is small letter okay let's check it out now okay cool not done okay we get the not done here and we see what we see here our block text and block categories is not inserted okay so that's completely fine and if we have this one is correct and this one is corrupted what we should see here we should see the same effect okay this should be deleted right away we don't sh we should not have block tags or blocks or block categories okay perfect now let's say you have everything in order perfect then this should be in uh, all this data should be inserted okay so let's save this data and check it out perfect so we should have blocks now wow we have blog we have block tags we have block categories so all the data is in place now thank you for watching if you have not subscribed go ahead and subscribe this uh, video like share and of course let me know your available feedback regarding how we can improve okay and thank you for supporting software have a nice time guys